Grand Council of Haven City for heinous acts and crimes against the people. You are hereby banished to the wasteland for life. This is a death sentence, Vigor. There must be another way. Your protest was overruled. This dark eco freak is dangerous. Now drop the cargo. This is an outrage. I am outraged beyond words. Although I do have something to say. Not everyone agrees with this ridiculous decree. Yeah, we want a recount. Oh, I see you wish to join him. Actually, we are not that outraged. Farewell, Jack. Stay out of the sun. Drink lots of water, if you can find it. Jack? Go back to the city, Dax. I'm sorry. The council is too powerful. There was nothing I... I know. You just stay alive, you hear me? That's an order. Someone will find you. I promise. May the precursors have mercy on you. Dexter! Don't thank me. I'm only here because you wouldn't last a second without me. Okay, tough guy. You got us into this mess. Now you gotta get us out. Ah, what a team we'll make. Let's just get moving. <sighs> but which way? That way! That way! Oh, and I suppose you know where you're going, eh? Better than you do, Bent Peak. Uh, let's just move. This was all your stupid idea. No, it was yours. Only a bird brain could have thought this one up. Let's go with him. We'll help together. You mean we'll die together? I can't believe the city hates us. We saved those lowlifes. Jack, the city's divided. Reports say new Crimson Death Bots are holding the vital section of the industrial area. My men are getting their asses kicked. The KG have a new leader. We're trying to find out who it is. I'm afraid I've got more bad news. A large group of surviving metalheads have concentrated in another section of the city. But we destroyed Core. It appears the strongest metalheads have survived. The battle for the city has just begun. The people are blaming you, Jack. Right. Good plan, Jack. A nap would be nice. Just a teensy little rest. This bird is overcooked. <laughs> the bells. Report! It's bad! The city's become a battlefield! Mechanized death bots have taken the industrial section, and the surviving metalheads have expanded their hold on the west side. We're losing ground on all fronts. The council's meeting tonight in emergency session. Rumblings about you, Jack. It doesn't look good. They think your friendship with crew helped the metalheads get into the city. You don't believe that, do you? What's in the past is done. Right now, metalheads are assaulting the palace. They're looking for something, and I have no idea. Some live ones. <laughs> Barely. Here's the beacon we were picking up. Who gave you this? We'll take them with us. Let's move. I smell a storm coming. dead, have you? And my monks were ready to pray for you. I am Damus, King of Spargus. Spargus? Wait, nobody lives outside Haven's walls. Not a whole city. Ah, yes. We are the Forgotten Ones. Haven City's refuse thrown out and left to die. Just as you were. 
but now that you have been saved, your life belongs to the people of Spargus, and we will use it well if it's actually worth anything. Hey, that sounds like a bad deal. You are in no position to deal. Out here, everything is either useful or dead weight. Prove yourselves worthy, or the desert will be your grave. You need to work on making a better first impression. <laughs> In the unforgiving wasteland, we value strength and survival above all. We will see where you stand soon enough. Complete your training, then enter the arena. Just the bravest crawl out and are allowed to stay in Spargus. It's quite simple, really. Um, what happens to the ones that don't crawl out? Then it will be as if we never found you. I was afraid of that. Arena of Death, where we get to watch other people wet themselves in fear. These halls will once again test two newcomers, each fighting to prove their worth to stay among us. Let's hear it for Jack and his obnoxious talking animal. Pecker, there you are. Who were you? Demos says I am to be his new counselor. He says my wisdom will serve him well. Oh yeah, and uh, Deimos also says that uh, you two are likely to die in the arena today. And he hopes your death is very... Uh... Will you stop that? Deimos can talk for himself. He is right. You will most likely die. And yes, Pecker is my new advisor. Unlike you, some people appreciate my talents. It beats working for a living. I saw a few of the fights earlier. Ooh, not a pretty sight. Why, you little... Let the games begin! The candidates have won the challenge. That's right, we bad. You haven't forgotten what I taught you, Jack. Anyone can make a few measly jumps. Now let's see how you rate against the living. We adjust the matter formers. Prepare the arena for full combat. Prepare the arena for full combat. I just said that. I know, I was just adding, you know, how you do the thing with the... Anyway, prepare the warriors. You mean we, we have to fight against actual people? With actual weapons? Who actually wanna hurt us? Fine, bring him on. All right, that's it. I wanna be on his shoulder. Something you're not telling us, animal man? He has been touched with dark eco, my leash. Our boy here gets all mean and nasty when you piss him off. So don't piss him off. Word to the wise. Ah, then he is dangerous, and that could be useful. Your bravery has earned you your first battle amulet. If you are victorious in two more arena fights, you will earn your citizenship to Spargus. Here is a gate pass to allow free passage in and out of the city. But beware, there is no true refuge outside our walls. The desert is less kind than I. And for your victory, a gun mod is your prize. Oh yeah, now we're talking. Nothing, as usual. Those were some sweet moves in the arena, boy. But a little more choke, and you would have popped, eh? You talking to me? Yeah, you talking to him? No, I'm conversing with me sweet departed mom. Of course you, you boarhead. You two are from the Big Smoke, eh? Who's asking? The guy who runs this place. That's who. Cleaver's the name. You blokes stick with me, and I'll take care of you. In fact, I've got a job for you right now. Ride me Leaper Lizard here and catch a few of those little buggers that have been raiding me storerooms. Snag me six of them puppies, and I'll let you drive one of me racing vehicles. That is, if Amos ever lets you leave the city. I think we can handle that. No! I hate riding animals! They make me chafe. Check out these funny dudes, huh? <laughs> nice threads. I didn't know rubber was back in. What are you working on, monk boy? It is none of your concern, animal. Look, coloring book. We've had a hard week. Don't push it. The arena shows all, dark one. Hate consumes your eyes. Great. Thanks for the tip. It will destroy you, just as these precursors destroyed themselves. Did 
doesn't look like any precursor crap we've seen. These artifacts are an abomination. One fell on the Great Volcano. We sent an expedition to the mountain, but my monks never returned. Ill tidings sing in the wind. I fear the remaking of the world is at hand. I think you've been out in the sun a little too long. Let's go, Jack. You must leave this place. Heroes think they can save the world when they themselves are lost. You could not possibly understand the dark forces at work here. Don't talk to me about dark powers. I want to know what this is. Stand back. You cracked it, Jack! Don't touch it. Dark Eco. Yeah, you're impressed now, aren't you? Man, give me preps. Those are solid eco crystals. It has been passed down through time that they power the greatest of precursor technologies. Strange. It speaks an ancient dialect. The earliest precursor forms. Something about reclaiming this unfinished world. Those look like coordinates. Like the ones from... It is picking up a very powerful signal. I don't think we're gonna like what this thing is yapping to! Even you cannot save us from this hero. Hey, I'm the real hero here. You can call me Orange Lightning. Z -z -zing! You may carry the color of our creator's animal, but we have plans to save ourselves. Stay out of our business. You and Orange Lightning are not welcome here. Well, if it isn't the newbies. Keep yapping, Jelly Boy. We'll see who- Bite your bum, rat face, or I'll pound ya. Oh, great stink of the precursors. I got two words for you: Toothbrush. Nice rides. You like what you see? We use these babies to make runs into the deep desert to retrieve artifacts. Tough wheels for tough work. You said we could use one. I did, didn't I? But not one of those. Those are for the big boys. You can use that one. Ha! <laughs> what a runt! Seems to fit you. Get in, Dax. I'll drive. Can't wager a little something on a race, then. If you win, I'll let you keep that little vehicle for as long as you live. And if I win, I don't have anything. I'd say that yappy rodent of yours is a bit bony, but skinned and butted, he'd make a nice treat. My vehicle against him. Forget it, buddy. Jack would never done. What? Don't worry. If there's one thing I can do, it's race. Nice wheel work. My advisor here says you have vehicle skills. I can hold my own. This one will be of use to us, Demos. I think you should keep him for now. Can it, Pecker? There are a number of artifacts to be found in the wasteland. Fresh storms churn the sand and reveal items that have been buried for centuries. Take the vehicle and find as many items as you can before the storms come again. And one more thing. If you get caught in the storms, they will tear the flesh from your very bones. Oh, great. Thanks for the pep talk. Good work. That was close. Oh, are you beginning to care? Demo says... My concern was for the artifacts, and we will use them well. That armor you found, it is very rare indeed. Pecker here says it's the very armor Mar once wore in his battles for this planet long ago. Keep it for yourself. Trust me, you'll need it. You are still here? Yeah, we thought we'd hang out, catch some rays. This isn't a game. I am Seam. We monks are sworn to discover and protect the secrets of the Precursors. These Leaper Mounts allow us to travel where you cannot. Man, those babies sure stuff their faces. We saw one gulp a load of Kangarats not too long ago. Stupid rats. They just sat. Ah! Oh, ah, ah, oh, ah. You will never last out here. That dark eco crystal from the satellite. I want it before it falls into the wrong hands. I'll wager a light crystal against it if you race my monks on their leapers. Sien Komtava. Barush, Barush. Just show us where the starting line is. Oh, yeah. Ha! We kicked your scaly tail! Back off, you filthy animal! Fine, hero. 
The crystal is yours. The two types, light and dark, when combined, form great energies. Be careful with them. And when you die, do be kind enough to give them back. I don't plan on it. Why are you so obsessed with death? Because of that, the day star approaches, and every day it grows brighter. This planet's final trial is coming. You guys looking for a bit of action? The scope shows a group of metalheads moving through the desert not too far from here. I don't like metalheads almost as much as I don't like you. And you've got some proving to do. Intercept those bad boys and give them hell. Who knows, you might even get a few toys for your effort. Why does it sound like you're leaving out the dangerous parts? Jack, I'm getting some nasty juju vibes here. I don't have these whiskers for nothing, you know. Relax, we could handle a few metalheads. Have you ever seen a wasteland metalhead? No. Why? Nothing. Just wondering. Go get them, heroes. <laughs> Again, you must test your fighting skills in the arena. Face down your fears, defeat those who oppose you, and we will see if your skills are of use to us. The purity of the arena is our only guide. Excuse me, um, Mr. Sand King. Yes, I'd like to place a complaint. We've been training hard. My feet are killing me, and I think I'm getting a hangnail. So maybe I'll just sit this one out. Enough talk. The arena awaits. I can't believe you two are still alive! Yeah, what a surprise. Demos and I are very impressed. Hey, Featherbutt, who appointed you king? He did. Well, almost. Kind of a semi-king. You know, you should see our sleeping quarters and his harem of lovebirds. Oh, I never get any sleep these days. <laughs> it's good to be the king, no? I don't see no crown on that fat feather head. You want a crown? I'll crown you! Don't make me come down there from this perch! I got a perch for you, Birdie, right here! Twirler! That's it! It's go time! Bring it on, Bird Rain! Enough! If I wanted you to fight, I would have commanded it. You did very well, Jack. You make me proud that our training program is so good. Here is your second battle amulet and a new weapon mod. One more arena win, and you will be a true wastelander. Damus has a job for us, but I'm no babysitter, so stay out of my way. Jack's not afraid of you! Are you, Jack? If you knew what was happening out here, you'd be afraid, all right. What's going on here? Nothing, your lordship. Just old friend Jack and the little one here. Some healthy advice. You have a reputation for being rash. Didn't your father ever tell you to pick your battles wisely? I didn't know my father. My point is, sometimes you face your enemy head on, and sometimes you wait until his weakness is revealed. Patience is a warrior's greatest weapon. Do you understand? Jack, I want you and Cleaver to go into the desert and herd a group of lizards into a waiting transport. We must prepare for whatever lies ahead. I need all the resources we can gather. No problem. I'm good with animals. I'll see you out there. Ciao. Piece of 
cake, baby. I have to admit, you got some talent, kid. Have another one of me vehicles. You earned it. Damn straight! Would it be too much to ask for a foot rub? Uh... No, didn't think so. Attention all people of Spargus. A large storm is heading our way. Prepare the city. Jack. There are four Wastelanders out there who still have not reported in. I want you to go out and find them. Do whatever it takes to bring them back. said they lost an expedition of monks on the volcano. I bet they built these gliders to reach the top. Yeah, lost being the operative word. If they vanished, don't you think that was a sign? Hello? Yeah, but you've got me. All we have to do is hit those accelerator rings and we're golden. Oh no! See any feathers here? Looks like fur to me. No feathers, no fly of the Atso. There's no way you're gonna get me on some precursor monk crap! Absolutely zippo chance! Forget it, finito! Fat chance! Not gonna happen! Nope! Nuh-uh! Never! Jack! Well, now we can't go back the way we came. Let's go check it out. Right behind you, partner! Far behind you. Looks like I didn't agree with him. Don't touch it, Daxter. Who knows what more dark ego would do to you? Look at me, Jack. I'm short, I'm hairy, and I itch in strange places. I couldn't do worse. Relax. I know what I'm doing. Oh, yuck! Cold, clammy, dead hands. Oh, I can't look. Look out, Daxter! Some kind of invisibility. Yeah, well, cut it out. If you moved that fast a long time ago, I'd still be wearing pants. You know what I really miss? Soft underpants. You know how it lifts and cradles? <sighs> you wouldn't understand. We're out of here. You told me this could be done. Now make it so! But we have so little time. The Daystar approaches. You know what it brings. Unfortunate, yes. We will deal with that as soon as I have full access to the catacombs. Just continue your work, and I'll deal with those idiots in Haven. I promise, you will meet your makers. Why are the catacombs so important? It's one of those goober-eyed precursor thingies. Greetings, great warrior. Your return brings us great hope. This planet's future is at a critical juncture. The Dark Ones have found your world again, and fate hangs in the balance where the past and the future collide. Do you have any idea what he just said? Speak of the normal language, okay? You will need all the power you can muster to survive this terrible test, Great One. I can handle it! I was talking to the Tall One, Shorty. Hey! Look into the light and receive a power hero. Okay, now you're scaring me. Dax, the 
dark eco. It feels far away. I feel better. Isn't it time for you ankle biters naps? <laughs> yeah, whatever. That gun turret used to be the only thing that stood between us and the desert's cruel kiss. I used to be the tall puppy on that baby. Wanna try to beat me, Score? Oh, don't worry. Jack beats things all the time. Hey, Jack? <laughs> So, you nippers walloped me score. Fine, the top poppy has to be snipped sometime. Law of the Land says the top gunner holds a special trophy in honor of their skill. This crystal's yours now, but I'll be getting it back soon enough. The one, the only, the greatest highness of all highnesses! The magnificent, eminently... Enough! Just get on with it. Sorry, I got a bit carried away. Did I mention how fabulous your hair looks? Back up! Yes, right. Another round of games has been called. This is combat to the death. Good luck, and may the bravest man, or in some cases animal, win. Jack? Dexter? Sig! Well, don't you two look sorrier than ever. What are you doing here? Honing my skills. Let's finish this. Whoa, come on, Sig. I'm not gonna fight you. If we don't, he'll kill us both. Rule of the arena. Sorry, nothing personal. Uh-oh. Blasphemy! One must destroy the other. Complete the test, or face worse pain. I just know I'm gonna regret this. Seize them! How dare you two defile the purity of the arena! Sig, your time in Haven City has poisoned you. And you, newcomer, you deserve no mercy. I should toss you both into the jaws of the desert. However, Sig, your years of service as our spy in Haven have earned you a chance to redeem yourself. But only this once. A spy? Just shut up. I'll tell you later. There is a nest of metal peeds not too far from here. They have been harassing our artifact carriers for some time. I want you to drive into the heart of the nest and take out all the creatures you find inside. I'd say good luck, but then luck won't help you. Hey, baby. You thought you'd dump me, huh? I knew you'd be back for some more orange lovin'. Get a good look. It's the last time you get to see her. Ashlyn, what are you doing here? Jack, it's good to see you. Listen, toots. You left us in the desert, so talk to the tail. Cause the whiskers ain't listening. We out, Jack. That beacon you gave me. Thanks. I knew Damis would find you. He doesn't miss much in this desert. How do you know him? It doesn't matter now. Jack, I need you to come back to the city. We're losing the fight. Vigor is drunk on power and he's taken command. He doesn't understand what he's up against. I need you... Look out! Kira wanted me to give you this. Jack, your friends need you. I need you. The city threw me out, remember? They can rot for all I care. But what about your- Get it! Just leave. I have new friends now. So the hero I knew did die in the desert. Or was it long before that? Don't you remember who you are? I'm through saving the world. Somewhere. That's the ticket. You show promise, but your bravery will not protect you from the foes you must soon face. 
Use this light power to help in your quest. It is what little we have left to offer. Just like the catacombs we saw in Haven City. But where do they go? There you are. Ah, I'm so squawking happy I found you. Look, Jack got his seal back, and it opens doors. Onan says we must get back to Haven City. She says the catacombs are the key to the planet's very survival. You boys up for a little ride? It looks like some kind of old eco-mine. When Mar built Haven City, he must have carved out these old caves to get at the eco-power. Sheesh! That Mar guy must have never slept much. I'm going ahead to tell Onan we're back. Watch your tail feathers, Jack. This is a spooky place. The monks told me you were coming through the Precursor subrails. Interesting, aren't they? The Precursors used them to build the world countless eons ago. The rail system leads deep into the planet, but it's said the Ancient Ones wait to bestow unimaginable powers upon the worthy. I will save the world with that power, just as Mar did. Yeah, you've done a great job so far, letting the Metalheads destroy the palace. Oh, you couldn't be more mistaken, dear boy. We're on a time clock, Jack. That light in the sky, do you know what it is? Our nightmare has found us and the end is coming. I needed quick access to the catacombs below, so I attacked the palace myself. It will be our little secret. Well, you're full of surprises. And you're full of dark eco. You and your rat are an abomination. But I will rid the planet of this scourge soon enough. Pure light will rule the universe, and I will be the bright light that shines to every corner of the world and destroys all shadows! Uh, excuse me, Count Volga. It's Vega! Yeah, whatever. Isn't it kind of nice just to curl up in the shade sometimes? Just chilling it, watching the hot babes prance around in their skimpy little bikinis. You know, just how they jiggle. I get that special tingling feeling in my tail. Enough! We will stop the cleansing of the world with your demise. Behold, I now command the very power of the Ancient One! And this time, the Precursors will not have mercy on you. Let's go topside and see what kind of trouble we can get into. This place looks as bad as my old bedroom back home. Jack! Over here! Samos! Kira! Ah, Samos! Still as green as the stuff between my toes. See, Kira? I knew I could feel Jack's energy. My boy, it's good to see you again. Those passageways below the palace, they must be terribly important. The metalheads and KG robots are advancing toward them, and we can't hold out forever. So, the city needs me again, huh? What else is new? Vigor has turned out the force fields here. Vigor's the one who attacked the palace. He said he was looking for something below. Something in the catacombs. Well, you're just going to have to find whatever it is before he does. But first, you'll need to find another way into this section of the city. Take the sewers into the port, then find a way north to reach us. And Jack, we're uh, sorry for what happened. We should have stopped the I'll stop him myself. Ah, the naughty Otzel. Honey, I'm home. Jack, I never thought I'd see you again. Torn? What are you doing to my place? 
We needed a southern HQ for the war. Plus, I kinda like the sign with the Ocelot outside. Yeah, it's cool, huh? We use it for target practice. Hey! Listen, I'm sorry we couldn't stop Count Viger. We all are. We just saw Viger. He's trying to use precursor technology for something. Figures. That guy always was one monk short of a choir. We have bigger problems now. Viger sent me on a suicide attack into the port, and we got cut off. Now we can't get back to Freedom HQ. Our forces are divided, and the KG and Metalhead fronts are squeezing us from both sides. Never fear! The Trouble Twins are here! Uh-oh. Speaking of trouble, we've got incoming blast bots from the KG city section. They're heading this way. Can you handle it, Jack? Okay. So we got a little fear. <laughs> but Jack is here. Ashlyn. Ashlyn, this is Dorn. Jack's back in the city. Jack? I knew I could count on you. That new KG leader's probably pissing in his... Wait! Someone's jamming the signal. I think... Errol. I live! <laughs> Still fighting for the weak link, eh, Jack? Well, I've had a few enhancements since we last met. Even the metalheads have their biological weakness. But me? I'm pure metal. I'd love to meet you again. We must unite our forces or we're through. You've got to reach us, Jack. We need you to break through and link up with us before it's too late. The KG robots are growing stronger. That floating warp factory of theirs is spitting out more robots every day. We need to assault the KG front. If we can break through their defenses, we may be able to get back to HQ and link up. Care to make some noise, Jack? We're always up for a little rumble. Hey, Dax? Fish in a barrel, baby. Fish in a barrel. Dexter! You're back! Oh, did that mean old desert burn your itty bitty paws? Hey, 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 test baby! Don't crush the merchandise! How's biz? I'm designing new guns to help out the war effort. You make guns now? Yeah, I just finished this new gun. It sports a multi port, large bore, gyro burst launcher with blowback breach assist, using full jacket, eco depleted armor piercing slugs, and a continuous kill zone scanner for tight groupings at a high cycle rate of fire. <laughs> it's a hobby. Not so fast. First, you have to prove you can protect my little schnookums in the new gun course. Not bad shooting, Jack. For a guy. Now, I want you to protect my little baby with this. Or else I'll hunt you down and hurt you real bad. Okay? <laughs> wow! I didn't know you had so much... We've got some KG defenses we need eliminated. Super range sniper cannons are keeping our men pinned down. Jack, you need to find those hidden cannons and take them out. There's sure to be an enemy counterattack when they see what you're up to, so watch out. You know the routine. Yeah, we do all the work, you get all the credit! Jack, I need you to go into the sewers into the Metalhead City section. We need to attack their hive from below, and the sewers are the only way in right now. We haven't been in those old passageways since the war broke out, but no scouts have reported movement down there. Um, that's a good thing, right? I mean, no scouts have ever come back alive to tell us. Oh. Ow! Still giving us the crappy missions, huh? Dark, dirty, dangerous? I'm beginning to like this war.
Go, Jack, you did it. You've got us deeper into KG territory. Nice work, Jackie boy. I'm gonna go see what I can scrounge up. See you on the flip side. Dexter, my hero! <gasps> this city is too dangerous. We need our own little place in the country. A little pink house with a white picket fence and a fireplace and a big four-poster bed for me and, and a little ossel run on the side of the house for you. Aw, are you worried about me, my little Desi Poo? Of course, my itty-bitty whisker puss. Oh, please. Will you two take it outside? You need a hug, Jack, because we got plenty to go around. Rumor is, you two are the only hope we've got to reach the catacombs. I've programmed the gun course to simulate some of the new enemy tactics. Want to try it out? Not bad shooting, Dark Boy. Here's a nice boomstick for your sidekick, baby. Go give him hell, boys. Then come back, and I'll scratch you behind your ears. You can make it. Crank that sign up to full brightness. Hang on, Dax. It's gonna be close. Ah! My beautiful monk! Jack, we've got word of a new assault on the port. They're trying to take us out once and for all. The strange thing is, we're seeing movement from both the KG and Metalhead fronts. It's like they're working together. We've got to repel this assault or we're through. I hate to do this to you, but I'm putting you on the front line. You're my go-to guy. Stop any KG or Metalhead units from reaching this place. If we lose this one, we're history. There you are. I was beginning to think you chickened out. I saw an eco-crystal in this place, and it's yours if you want it. Trouble is, Metalheads have been spotted here in mass. But we wouldn't want those nasty boys to just move back in here without a welcoming party, would we? Let's go give them a big surprise. Yeah, baby! I love the smell of burnt metal, man. This is good practice for when the spit hits the van. And trust me, it's coming. What Stamos got to do with Haven City, Sig? None of your business. What was all that spying you did, huh? Let's just say Damus lost a little something in the city and he wanted me to find him. What do you care, man? Haven folk are a bunch of weeples. You know that. They'd already lost the war before it started. But Damus has a plan to make sure we all survive. You're playing with people's lives. Why not? They play with mine. Survival of the fittest, baby. I suggest you get with the program and be on the winning side. And which side is that? The one on top of the pile. Unfortunately, it's gonna be a big pile. Yeah! Big pile of shit, I caught this. So now what? Just keep your nose clean and stay sharp. I'll tell you when the action's coming. Keeping people alive out here, keeping them full of hope, it can be daunting. I'd say you've made a good life here. You too must make a life, Jack. Take your destiny into your own hands. Look, sand cannot keep a shape by itself, but add water, and it becomes malleable. Fate can be such if you add the right element. Eco. Hmm. <laughs> Our minds think alike. My monks say the world is coming to an end, but I am a survivor. I say we live on long after this world dies. Be ready. You are shaping up to be one of my finest warriors, and I'll need you for the trials ahead. I mustn't lose you. Like I lost my son. You had a child? Long ago. But much has been sacrificed in this war so that others could live. Anyway, it matters not. We're having serious trouble with marauders lately. I want you to take a vehicle and hunt down their warrior patrols. Go and make war your own. Cleaver. I need to find some very special precursor artifacts, but I'm running out of time. Wait a tick. I just traded a very rare artifact indeed to a nice band of metalheads. It was an ugly piece of hardware. Looked like a dog's breakfast to me. But those tooth has paid handsomely. 
They seemed nice enough. Good ivories they had, you know, if you dig fangs and claws. I bet if you crank up that dunk, you and the offsider just might be able to catch him. I'll drive. Jack, you get on the gun. Daxter, just get in, sit down, and shut up. Storm's really turning the sand. Scanners show a few new artifact sightings. You two up for some rough riding? Sure. I can race with the best of them. Good. Take the vehicle and bring us back some booty. You know the drill. Get to the artifacts first, and they're yours to claim. Wastelander right. Go get them! <laughs> We may have a way to reach Freedom HQ. Jinx here has a plan. Hey, Jackie boy! Long time no see. I think you got a boomer of a plan here. You know those nasty blast bots you've seen around? Well, I captured one. Don't ask. I'll show you the scars later. I've rigged that baby with a remote control and even more explosives than the standard package. Jack, link it to the remote and direct that blast bot into the KG area. If you can get the blast bot close enough to the Freedom League border and blow it up, it should punch a hole in the defensive line there and allow us to hook up with our comrades. Great job! We can link up with the Northern Front now. I'll get on the horn to HQ and give them the good news. You're the man, Jack. You are the man. Hello, fellow peeps and cronies. That's right, the Daxtonator is back in the building. Daxter, Jack, you did it! It's about time you two got here. What took you so long? Sorry, we only had a war on the way. Great work, Jack. Let me be the first to officially apologize for the city. Forget about it. I've got my own interest in this. Well, what we know right now is there's a huge dark planet builder bearing down on us all. How much time we have, no one can guess. If it is rogue precursor technology, then the only way to destroy it is with more precursor technology. And that lies at the bottom of the catacombs. Also, the large number of eco crystals being moved about can mean only one thing. Someone is trying to awaken vast precursor technology. I think Vigor's behind it. Or Errol. Or maybe... Oh, oh! Wait till you hear about my adventures in the wasteland. So there I was facing a whole brood of slobbering metalheads, when all of a sudden... Uh-oh. It looks like a large-scale assault. Multiple targets inbound. You up for some action, Jack? Look who you're talking to. Let's rock and roll, Dax. Nice moves, my boy. You're the best man we've got to lead an expedition into the catacombs. Please, please, let us not be too hasty. Are you sure you want this dark ego freak contaminating the hallowed halls of our glorious precursors? I should lead the expedition myself. We're tired of your scheming, Vigor. I've got the answer you're looking for. My precursor monks have given me the knowledge to turn on the planetary defense grid. 
if you beg me to do so. Jack's always gotten us through thick and thin. I'm with him. Here, here! You washed up, Vegan! Vega! It's Vega, you idiot! Whatever! Count Vega, I hereby dissolve the city council and strip you of your title, command, and all privileges. Now get out of my sight. What? How dare you! I offered you mercy, but now you will all burn in the precursor fires of creation! I swear it. That was one hell of an attack wave. We can't continue to repel such large assaults forever. That floating war factory has got to be shut down. The problem is, the factory is shielded and has gate codes on every access point. Most old KG door ciphers were kept hidden in the main system at the power room. If you can break into the system, you may be able to unlock the war factory doors to get inside. Onan says the eco grid in the power room could help you, but to open the old power room, you must find the junction box in the sewer. Personally, I think you're crazy to go down there, but uh, good luck. Ah, remember this place? I sure miss good old Vin. Yeah, he was a good guy. A bit crazy. Hey, who are you calling crazy? I can't help it if the world is out to get me. Vin! Wait a minute, is that you? Yeah, it's me. Well, actually, no, it's not. I'm a multi-layered, hyperlinking, digi-memic, bioconstruct, super-clocked, make-a-memory construct, baby. Did you understand a word he said? When the city was overrun by metalheads, before they got to me, I dumped my brain into the eco grid. Everything's great now. Those monsters can't get me in here. Or can they? Listen, Ben, I'm happy you're whatever you are. But right now, I need to get into the war factory, but the doors are sealed. We think the code to open the doors is hidden in this system. It is. Really? Positive. Can you get it for us? Negative. Why not? Because if you have half a brain cycle, you'd know that those access codes are guarded by the central system. Ancient, nasty circuits in there. Even we big brains can't nibble around there without getting our butts erased. Just get us close. Oh, sure, yeah. <laughs> it's your death. If you fail, I can always use a companion in here. All of the fun we'll have. Let's hope. Oh, God, let's hope. It doesn't come to that. When I put you into the system, the main security will slam down hard. It'll be up to you to beat the system and get out, or get eco-zapped for good. You check some? Okay, Vin Baby! Jack me in! Wait for it, wait for it. Okay, input! <laughs> Got the cipher. Great work, Jack. Just got the info beamed here. That cipher key will unlock the war factory doors. We'll get on it right away and get back to you. Listen, Ven, we've got things to do, but we'll keep in touch. We promise. We got a big one this time, Jack. That decoder you found helped us decipher the gate key for the main KG war factory. We can get inside now, and we need our best people on the raid. Oh, gee! I wonder who that might be. There is a good chance that factory is doing more than just making deathbots. I want to know who's behind it all. How are so many deathbots being made? Where are they getting the supplies in the eco? Something about this doesn't seem right. Yeah, right into the hornet's nest. This is gonna be fun. Yeah, remind me when to laugh. Just like you and me, Jack. Well, me at least. They want a home. 
Someone to call a friend. Destruction of all my ego! They volunteered to help me put this puny planet out of its misery. <laughs> You're in for a big surprise. The Dark Makers don't play nicely with others. Just ask the Metalheads. I've been given the opportunity to wield a power even the precursors could not control. Don't fret. You won't live to see what I turn this little world into. Maybe a rock, or a floating puddle of slag, or nothing at all! Complete oblivion! So hard to choose. I won't let you do this! robot factory. That's good, but it is troubling to see what Errol is doing. I fear he may be trying to awaken that terrible dark ship before we can destroy it. Onan says the Precursors and Dark Makers have fought over worlds for as long as time has turned. It would not be the first time a planet was lost to those monsters. Well, it's not gonna be this planet. We've lasted this long. We've just gotta find a way to destroy that thing. The truth lies at the bottom of the catacombs. That's where I need to go. Once again, you stand before me, brave one. And once again, your heroism shall be rewarded. I give you a new light power. One which will help you reach new places. Places only in your dreams. has learned how to connect with the Dark Maker ship. If he can awaken its terrible cargo, he will unleash horrors beyond our deepest nightmares. Not all is lost. I hid the most important artifact from Errol. I was wrong about you. You have the balance needed to save us all. As rubber-wearing, completely freaky, beyond bizarre, paint-faced, super weird monks go, you're all right. I have now seen the truth, and I am at peace. At least I was granted the gift of seeing the face of my creators. Thank you, little one. Uh, okay. You did it, Jack. This victory is a sign of possibility. Times are grim, but when I was the leader of Haven City, times seemed grim then, too. Take hope. Even the smallest weed finds shelter within the rocks. Wait, you were once the leader of Haven City? I came to the throne during the middle of the Metalhead Wars. Baron Praxis betrayed me and banished me to the Wasteland. The rest you know. Anyway, here is your third and final battle amulet. You are one of us now. That war amulet is a beacon. If ever you need us, use it to call and we will be there. And from me, uh welcoming gift. This rare precursor armor is said to have been worn by Mar himself. I was saving it for my own son, but right now, you should wear it in this difficult time. Thanks. I don't have anything for you. You give us all hope, Jack. That is gift enough. Welcome to the clan. Hello, elevator! Bottom floor! Coming up! Come on! Ah, 
I hate being short. It just seemed for a moment, it, it looked like... No, it couldn't have been. Who knows what Arrow will try to do next with that dark ship. We've got to take him out. And I suppose you know how we can take him. We have a plan, but it's risky. Oh, of course. It couldn't be easy. No. And I'm sure we're on the short list to head up the mission, huh? No, this one's tricky. I'm giving it to Torn and Jinx. What? I suppose you don't think we're good enough, huh? You don't think we can do it? Dax. May I remind you that this team of Daxter, Jack, and Daxter have taken on just about every scary thing this world can throw at us for three, count them, three adventures. Daxter. This is an outrage, Jack. We're the heroes. We're the ones on cereal boxes, for God's sake. And I'm about to release my own line of sports shoes. I've got a contract. You're on the mission. Your job is to cover Torn and Jinx in a vehicle filled with explosives. Escort them to the metalhead section, and together you'll blow open the nest. Oh. Well, why didn't you say so in the first place? Oh yeah, they hurt now. Move and groove, Chili Pepper. All right, it's payback time. You ready to rock, Dax? You mean go in that place? Uh, Jack, maybe I'll stay here and, uh... Protect Sig! Ah, my little friends have come to see me off. I'd love to stay in chat, but I have an appointment with the most powerful beings in the universe. You're through, Metal Monkey! Don't make me come over there and sick Jack on you! You're too late. I've already awakened the Dark Mega Ship. When I come back, I will be wielding the very power of the Precursors. I'll see you boys soon. Look at that, it's cool. It's amazing. It's reacting to the dark stuff. Ah, it's gonna blow! Let's get out of here! Jack, we are in serious trouble. Onin says there are strange forces at work. Fate has been twisted by something more powerful than anything she has ever seen in her many years. Something now awake deep in the catacombs. Let me guess. You blowhards want us to go down there, correct? The best access to the catacombs is on the metalhead side of the city. Sometimes, I really hate you guys. Onan says she sees your fate turning black with uncertainty. Onan says it will be very dangerous indeed. Onan says Hecker will escort you to the catacombs and... What? What did you say? You will be Onan's eyes and Jack's wisdom. You must do this. Ah, okay, fine. But I am gone the moment that things get sticky. You two, get to the catacomb entrance and take care of business. I'll meet you there when the coast is clear. The only hombres tough and crazy enough to take on these things are the Wastelanders! You're a genius. Yeah, that trinket's worth about as much as you'd get from a broke-down pawn shop in Southtown. Where have you been? I've molted three times already just waiting for you. Onan says we must get through the palace ruins, but I think... Uh-oh. Jack, let me just say, before it's all over, riding on your shoulder, although it is kind of bony and uncomfortable, well, you've been a good pal. You too, Dax. These adventures, they've been great. Someone called for an army. But you're a long way from the desert. I thought you said a smart warrior never takes his opponent head on. That depends on how hard your skull is. I'd say you and I are both rather headstrong. Let's finish this.
Demos! Not bad driving, kid. It was a good fight. <coughs> and a good day to die. I'm very proud to have been by your side in the end. <coughs> this world is not yet out of heroes. We did well together. Don't move out. Please, promise me one thing. Promise me you'll find my son, Mar. You'll know him when you see this. He's wearing an amulet just like it. A symbol of our lineage with the great house of Mar. <coughs> Save the people, Jack. They need you. Father. Yes, you were that child. I took you from Damus, hoping to harness your eco powers for my experiments. Then I lost you to the underground. You seem upset. Did I tell you too late? You were the son of the great warrior Damus. Oh, and he never knew. How delightful. Ah! Bigger! Thank you for opening the door to the precursors. Don't worry, I'll be back to put you out of your misery. After him, Jack! You're willing to go down there? Without a fuss this time. Yeah, well, don't get used to it. It's just that nobody hurts my best friend and lives to brag about it. Let's get him! <laughs> Precursors were a bunch of little fuzzy rats. Would you worship us? Could we run the universe? Not possible, buddy. So we fluff up the myth a bit. And we get the respect we deserve. You idiots! Get down from there and stop defiling that glorious machine! Do not let our size fool you. We are the most powerful beings in the universe. We are? <laughs> Why does Daxter look like? Ah, yes. All eco contains the source of our essence, our code, so to speak. When Daxter touched the dark eco, he was actually blessed when he thought he was cursed. Woohoo! I'm a precursor! I'm a precursor! I'm a precursor! Hey! We 
Wait a minute! They have pits! These creatures are the great Picassos? And I wanted to evolve into the... No! A little drafty, isn't it? The only way to ensure that Errol will not awaken the ship's cargo is to go there yourself and stop him. We will send you there from here. But the weapon... Chill out, buddy. You should have Mondo minutes to go there and get back here pronto. Way before the... Hopefully before. Ba-boom! Oh, yeah! Let's move. You idiots. I told you we needed a plan B. things ever wake up, the planet's finished! All of these dark makers at my command. Just think what I could do. You're through, Arrow. Even if we both die. Ah! Oh. Jack?
you brave people of this planet, Onan, Samos, and all. Your strength and wisdom in these dark times give us reason to fight on. My life's work, it turns out, was spent searching for a bunch of furballs. Onan says it is a great day for the universe. Jack, you are the greatest of heroes. You have turned the tide against the Dark Makers, and together we will win this war. But dude, there are like way more challenges in the future. Ha! <laughs> uh, or was it the past? Yes, yes, I was getting to that. More adventures? Where have I heard that before? We need heroes like you to help us protect the universe, Jack. Then you can call me by my first name, by what my father called me, Mar. Wait, Jack is Mar? The Mar? Come then, Ma. No time like the present. You coming, Dax? Eh, I got all I need right here, baby. But if you need me, and I know you will, eh, you know where to find me. Oh, Daxter, my little hero. We owe you much, Daxter, for all you've done. For your bravery in the face of incredible danger, we shall grant you your deepest desire. You know, I can really use a snazzy pair of pants. Like yours. Wow, those are sharp. I wish I had a pair just like that. Be careful what you wish for. Don't worry, honey. You get used to it. Oh, and you may want to shave some parts. Trust me on that. Hey, thanks for everything, partner. You are a great hero, Daxter. This is gonna be good. They think I'm a god. And they're right! Our hero! <sighs> this is going to be a long trip. Where do you think you're going, little bugger? I've decided I want my own sidekick, and you've been nominated. We're gonna be a great team. Just don't make me angry. Are you ready, Jack? We have something to show you. What? The universe. I couldn't leave you, Dax. With all our adventures ahead, you wouldn't last a second without me. Ah, what a team we are! Yeah, well, the next adventure, I call the shots. Put it in, partner. Ha! Say! Oh, yeah. Life is good.